Platinum End Finale. Uh, it's probably uh, Shuji's first day as God. Okay, so he starts checking on the other God candidates and uh, and the people, are basically the people who got themselves involved with them during the God selection process. Yan sila Mirai. Uh, of course, current timeline muna. Yeah, well, may mga kilig mo is because courtesy of uh, Mirai and Saki. Si Yuri naman uh, proceeded to, uh, to to becoming his assistant. And Yoneda decides to make her his guinea pig for his final red arrow. Like any guinea pig, he's, uh, he sets her up on a, on a chair, all these electrodes strapped on her butt, all throughout her body. Then, Yoneda stabs her with that red arrow. Ayun, may nakita elevation in blood pressure, heart rate. Imagine, Professor Gaku Yoneda accidentally has a girlfriend. <laughs> the, the unthinkable, okay? It's quite the unthinkable. Then while this was happening, um, na nag-start ng isang flower shop business ang mag-asawang Mirai at Saki, eh, which is doing well. Um, Mirai makes the deliveries while, of course, Saki runs the shop itself. Siyempre, siya nag-a-arrange ng mga flowers. Uh, this is actually six years later na nung tinignan, nung minonitor sila ni, ni Shuji. After, yeah, after catching up on on his friends, si Shuji, well, he's now, he's now known as God. Okay? The former God is his consultant. And of course, yung pinakakanang kamay niya ngayon, si Ogaro. Yung kanyang Yung, yung kanyang angel. Eh, well, sinabi na lang niya na... Tinanong niya sa sarili niya, hmm, how many, um, how many people are there right now who want to commit suicide? So, basta, ginano na niya, parang, parang lang siyang, parang lang siyang sumusundot sa tubig na ganun. Tok! Daming lumabas! Um, scenes of actual suicides, whether in progress or tapos na. Tapos na magpakamata yung tao. Eh, it was, it was somewhat creepy. And somehow, na-overwhelm ang bagong God. In, oh, hindi pala, hindi pala kailangan ng Diyos para magpakamata itong mga to. Then, we don't need a God. Eh, well, inutusan niya si Ogaro na tawagin ang mga first rank. Okay? Lahat ng first rank. Pero in-specify niya except uh, Muni, Nase, and Meza. Eh, ginawa naman ni... Eh, ginawa naman ni... ni Ogaro. Medyo nagkaroon ng kutob si Ogaro. Then, oh, yun nga. Bigla siya lumingon ng ganun at nakita niya God has already pierced himself with his own white arrow. So, ta, with that look of, yeah, the look of death on Ogaro's face, you instantly know what's gonna happen eh. So, the angels started disappearing na talagang naglalaw sila na parang bula. Unang nawala si Revel. Then it was um, Yazeli. Then it was Penema. Kasi magkakasunod, magkakasama sila eh. Isa-isa sila. Then, Eventually, it was Ogaro herself na. Then, uh, moments later, heaven became one, parang, parang black hole na lang ang natire. So, well, Nase and Muni were observing, were, were, were really seeing this as it happens. Eh, sinabi na lang, niya, sinabi na lang ni Nase kay Muni, congrats. Um, Congrats for destroying heaven. So, yeah, sa amin na ni Nase na, well, I guess I'll be disappearing too. Thanks. Yun, nawala na rin siya. Now, siguro, at the same time, um, something on, something truly disturbing on earth was, on earth was happening. All life began disappearing as well. 
napansin ito nila Miray at Saki. Yung mga bulaklak nilang binibenta, nawala lahat. Then moments later, some kids on the street were were just disappearing. Ang naiimo na lang mga damit nila. Then eventually, some adults started disappearing as well and it is not happening just in Japan. Buong mundo nangyayari ito. And uh well, nakita nakita na rin sa balita ni Yuneda uh, ni and, and Yuri through social media. So pero oh, take to Napansin na ni Yuneda that his red arrow is gone. Kasi sign dapat yun kay sign yun dapat sa kanya that Shuji did something para para mawala ang ang belief ng mga tao kay God. And yeah, he thought he was successful pero sinabi ni Yuri, "Uy, ang dami na naglalaho ng tao." Mga sa social media na goodbye na nag-goodbye. So ganun kalaki ang mata niya no, yan. Yan. The look of death is now on Yuneda's face. So sabi niya, what did Shuji do? And eventually, he disappears as well. His glasses drop like that. Then, final scene. Nagmistulang um, dead planet na ang Earth. Then as it slowly faded into nothingness, um, some quotes went up and like um we we desire death and we should live our life we should live our lives to the fullest something to that effect <sighs> speeches are all right now mga lifestyle as to what i've seen in this finale pero uh, okay magaling lang okay mo okay, magaling lang patreon mga lifestyle we're going to break that episode that finale down Still, critics of style. Well, to, at least to the best of our ability. Space. Um, I basically thought it was an aftermath episode. First half. Dahil ganun ang pacing. Pero pagdating ng anong second half nung uh, what's it call this? Nung hindi, the second half pala. Nung final Yeah, the final... Hindi. Tama, se, na, tama. Second half of the episode. When uh, God, the new God, looked at those... Uh, looked at all the suicide cases uh, currently happening on Earth. The pacing took a slow and excruciating turn from that point onwards until sa natapos. <sighs> eh, what? Okay. <laughs> kinakabog na ako yun just by describing it. Grabe! Sa Higurashi, hindi ako nagkaganito eh. Pero sa finale ng Platinum End, wow! Talagang, it, the pacing will leave you both uh, disturbed and mind-boggled. Oh, do I have complaints? No! Nasyak ako eh. I don't have time to complain. Nothing short of Masterful. Okay. Absolutely masterful. Uh, flow naman. Okay. First gear shift here was uh, was when uh, Yuneda showed his first showed his red arrow here for the first time. For the first time in this episode. I call that a gear shift. Bakit? Kasi okay. Well, you, you get to think na o nga pala no? Pina, ni-request na kay Shujo na iiwan sa kanyang kahit isang red arrow lang. So, he wants to research on it. Dito pinakita sa gearship na to kung gaano ka-obsessed na scientist si Yuneda. Second gearship was when, ayun nga, was when God, uh, the, the, the new God, um, pull up all those uh, all those 
all those water ripples para makita niya kung gaano karami ngayon ang, nagsusu- ang, ang nagpapakamatay sa, sa earth. Ang dami! It must be, must be billions. So, <clears throat> it's a no-brainer of a gear shift, folks. Kasi, well, dito na-overwhelm yung bagong God, si Shuji. And he got to thinking, there's no need for a God. Mukhang tama si Professor dito, ah. And yeah, well, it just goes to show you how, well, siguro in reality, that that God too can be stressed out because of us. Final gear shift was of course, ayun nga, um, God kills himself. Well, that gear shift ended the anime. Bottom line. I would be an idiot if I do not call that a gear shift. Those final two gear shifts, yun lang ang panoorin nyo, alam nyo na kung, alam nyo na kung paano tumakpo ang finale. Plot-wise, Malinis Patreon at mga ka-lifestyle. Bakit? Tignan nyo, the main continuity of the episode, uh, nag-concentrate muna sa current timeline, sa, sa current continuity. Then, it jumped six years nung, uh, nung minonitor si Loli ni God. Six years later yon, Kasi, uh, sa pagkaka-explain kasi ni Ogaro, Mas mabagal kasi ang oras sa heaven kaysa, kaysa earth. So, yeah. The, the saying that time flies, yep, it does apply to earth. Nung pag ganun niya uli, six years later na. So, time flies that fast. Kaya, it's still, it's still within the main continuity of the episode. Kaya, nakita natin yung progression ng mga characters. Eh. Okay, Mirai and Saki now have their own flower shop business. Si, um, Yung kapatid ni Shuji, uh, may trabaho na, okay? construction worker. Yung, yung dating best friend ni Metropoliman, sabi, mukhang, mukhang mag-asawa na sila na yan, eh. yung, yung girlfriend niya right here. Yeah, mukhang, mukhang sila na nagkatuloy, nagkatuloy yan, nagbibiruan pa nga. Eh. Naglalambingan actually. Then, si, of course, uh, Yuneda and Yuri, and medyo, medyo katawa-tawa yung... <laughs> yung yung love story nila <laughs> grabe <sighs> so it, it was a really clean plot okay so clean it brought out the disturbing parts talagang uh, i i thought ha huh? grito pa talaga magtatapos ang anime na to all the characters in this anime will die? Wow. Talagang, it, it's absolutely mind-boggling, mga lifestyle the plot. Because it, 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 it was that clean. <sighs> Need I say more? <laughs> so, pace, flow, and plot... I almost couldn't tell one from the other because ev- well, nearly every scene from from the second half of the episode from uh, from the halfway mark of the episode onwards gear shift eh. you can cite any one of those sequences as the gear shift that will that will trigger the end of the the end of the anime oh. excuse me in a to So, Platinum End Finale. Pag-iisipan pa ba to? Mm. Two thumbs up. Oh. <laughs> I never thought this anime would end that way. And I, I was already looking forward to uh, to um, to a decent aftermath finale. Kung nag Aftermath style siya all throughout the episode. I might have given it a low rating. Pero talagang this was totally unexpected yung second half niya. 
I never thought Suji still had it in him. Na, he was so overwhelmed with what he saw, he just, he just thought of um, uh, white arrowing himself. Para, para matapos lang natin, lahat ng ito. And yeah, yeah. You, you could say Juneda was also surprised at um, on what he thought was what what he what he was thinking then. Na don't tell me nagpakamatay si Suji as God. And he was all and he was already contemplating on um, that he didn't do that he didn't do enough research on it that. Uh, he didn't uh, explain the science behind it until he disappeared, like like he never existed. Talagang wow, that was that was one tough to watch finale. Talagang signal MD. Thank you for giving us platinum end. One of the best animes um, in recent memory, if not this decade. Kasi we're only two years into the 2020s. Eh. So, marami pang, marami pang mga gandang anime siguro lalabas. Pero for now, Platinum End is one of the best this decade. Pero, uh, realistically, it's one of the best in recent memory. For winter 2022, the best. The best. And I don't give a fuck what other uh, what other anime critics would say. What other what fans of other animes would say. You know, all I can say to you guys is this. You haven't seen a single episode of Platinum End yet. I'm not expecting you to um to watch the finale because you're probably too proud of your um of the animes you're supporting. Ako, uh, Well, you can now consider me a fan of this anime because of what I what I just witnessed in the finale. Talagang hindi ko na expect ito. Again, Signal MD, thank you for giving us Platinum End. I tell you, it's it's with the 2022's best anime. So again, for the final time, Platinum End finale, two thumbs up. Another two thumbs up for yeah, Platinum End, Mahaka Lifestyle. Perfect record. Yeah. Perfect record siya. You heard it, Mahaka Lifestyle. Talagang, this anime ended with the perfect record. Talagang, lahat ng episodes niya, hindi ko nabigyan ng lower than, lower than two thumbs up. Talagang, it's worth your time. Okay, it's worth your time. So, Patreon, Wait for my next upload. And for the rest of you who are still stuck to the CHD, okay lang. Enjoy this review. And I'll see you in the next one.